All right, we're back out of the base with the Voodoo again. Uh, today, gonna put a couple of hundred more rounds through it. I think we're up to 1100 right now. Got some Ely bench rest and some more SK long range. So, without further ado, let's see where this lands. <laughs> oh, duh. All right. I do not like this bipod. And yes, we are doing 10 shot groups. So there will be a lot of reloading. Take that home with me. A little pick. May need it at some point with this gun. <laughs> that carbon ring looks horrible. All right, we're just gonna leave the groups right there. Well, it looked like it's starting to tighten back up again. I'll load up a couple more mags. All right, next two groups. Ooh, that was a tight bolt close. And I was just thinking to myself before that shot, for cheap ammo, shoot pretty good groups. <laughs> and then you get the flyer. Not bad though.
All right. Well, hopefully we haven't been hearing that the whole video, but. All right, we'll load up one more and then we'll start on the next row after the ceasefire. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think of that group? Ten shots. <laughs> All right, we're back after the ceasefire, still shooting the Ely. That last group's going to be a hard one to follow. That's not too bad of a 10 shot group. Wow. All right. We continue on. Oh, there's our flyer. Had a couple flyers in that one. So what do you guys guess is gonna happen? What do you think we're gonna see first with this thing? Failure to extract, extraction issues, uh, groups just falling apart, or nothing. All right, get two more groups going.
All right. All right, we got one more group to go, and then we switch over to the SK Long Range. It's not the same lot that I started this series off with. Um, it's a different lot, but I do have another brick of the original lot. So for the next video, I'll probably shoot five five-shot groups of that original lot, and we'll compare them to the first video. Let's see if we see a difference. At this point, the way this stuff's shooting, I don't think we're gonna see a difference yet, but who knows? <laughs> oh really? I don't know guys, leave me a comment down below. I, uh, do your guys' CZs shoot just about any ammo good? Um, I know my first one didn't. I mean, uh, your Voodoo's. I know my first one didn't. Uh, my CZ. I mean, it really, really likes Center X and Lapua Long Range, but this stuff here, my CZ shoots like a shotgun. I, this barrel just seems to like everything. So we'll wait till after the ceasefire. I'll load up some SK Long. All right, we're back. Now we got some SK Long Range loaded up. Not too bad other than the one dropping low. I tell you what though, I can tell the bolt now. I mean, it almost feels like it's gonna land in there. It's so dirty.
Not bad groups. <laughs> I'm not measuring these up. You guys, you know, you can see them. Um, they're 10 shot groups. All right, we got 20 more loaded up. First print lock of the day. These groups don't look too bad. I mean, I'm happy with them. I tell you what, any one of these animals I would shoot absolutely in a tournament. PRS. They, uh... Those are some pretty nice groups. And I think, because of where the point of impact is, they're real similar in speeds also. Um, I didn't bring my Garmin out. Fifth group, fifth pin shot group. Ooh, a little different point of impact. I don't know guys, leave me a comment down there. What do you guys think of these groups out of these ammos? The uh, Ely semi-auto is, I don't even know how much that stuff is. It's been so long since I bought it. Five bucks a box? I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and this SK runs about, I think if you buy it by the case, you can get it for 
9.50 a box. All right, let's send 10 more down. <laughs> I can't believe this gun is still shooting groups like that after that many rounds the carbon ring you guys will see I'll be bore scoping this thing That's a pretty spicy little group right there. Uh, after the ceasefire, we'll load up 30 more and we'll finish this thing off for today. I'll bore scope it when I get home. You guys take a look at that carbon ring. We'll see how it's progressing. And uh, after today, we should be up to about 1,300 rounds, I'm guessing. So after the ceasefire, we'll finish this off. All right, ceasefire's over. Let's get these last two groups down there. <clears throat> Come on. I wonder if during SHOT Show Voodoo just said they still have mags coming out for the third year now. This barrel does shoot better where the more it gets. Oh, my reticle. Dots getting blurry.
Another great group. <laughs> Last group. All right, final group. There you have it, guys. Up to, uh, I'll have to look. I can't remember if we're 12 or 1300. I think we're at 1300 rounds through it. Hasn't been cleaned, nothing. My bolt actually, <laughs> I still poured sand in it. Um, I did notice today though, I did have a couple of hard bolt closes. Haven't had that before. Um, but other than that, I mean, you've seen the group. Looks like it's still shooting. So I'll get home, I'll bore screw it. I attach that to the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'm almost up to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it, it really helps the channel. And thanks for watching. All right guys, this is what 1200 rounds looks like through my gun. First of all, look at that crown, oh my goodness. <laughs> and here we go you can see the wax building up and the rifling Don't look. Make it look worse than the last video. Maybe it's it's actually 17. It's warm today. I think I shot the last video in about 40 degree weather. Oh, must be getting close to the chamber. I can start to see. A little bit of carbon. Yep. Oh man, look at that. Eee. We're not even to the chamber yet. This I think is about inch or two outside the chamber. Yep, and here's the carbon ring. <laughs> here's the chamber. Well, there you have it. There's 1,200 rounds, and it's still an uh, tack driver. So we'll give it a another couple hundred rounds, and we'll do it again.